I'm a 2014 IndyCar champion, Will Power. We're talking about aerodynamics and specifically the rear aerodynamic, this huge wing. This produces a lot of downforce. See, it's got multiple elements on the wing. You can adjust it up and down. The higher it is, the more drag there is, but the more downforce you get. Then you can add these little wicker you can run up to an inch. It adds drag, but it adds downforce. And you can put them all on all these little winglets here, wickers on everything. This is for the road course and short ovals, like mile ovals, you'll also run this. For the speedways like Indianapolis, you get rid of all this stuff, even on top of the bumpers here. And you get rid of the end plates as well. So it's just for straight line speed, because this stuff creates so much drag, but it gives you the grip for a tight road course run what you brung or is everybody running the same wing? They give you a box to work in and they can do whatever they want in that box. And the material I'm seeing, all carbon fiber and all then carbon. just obviously a little bit of a, yeah. no, all carbon, even it's, the braces. It's everything's carbon. Got to the point now where it's the most downforce and open wheel car in the world has ever had. It's becoming very difficult to drive. There's no power steering. So as the years come, they're gonna probably try go away from that a little bit, but uh, they're pretty, spectacular to watch on the track now just because they got so much grip. Thanks for watching this episode of Snap-on Tools Tech Series Penske Edition. For more installments of Snap-on Tools Tech Series, click here. And remember, for all things Snap-on, be sure to subscribe.